the telegraph industry is born, the first 3D cartoon premieres, and a dragon flies to the space station. It all happened this week in Tech History. This week in 1844, Samuel Morse sent the first message via telegraph. The message, What Hath God Wrought, which was a quote from the Bible, was sent from a committee room in the U.S. Capitol to his assistant Alfred Vail in Maryland. While Samuel Morse did not invent the telegraph, he did develop it, commercialize it, and invent the famous code that now bears his name. The first message officially inaugurated America's telegraph industry. In 1900 this week, Edwin Vody, who is regarded as a genius of the music world, patented his pianola, commonly known as the player piano. The original pianola was a large wooden cabinet in front of an ordinary piano. At the rear of the cabinet was a row of wooden fingers aligned with the piano keyboard. These fingers were activated by air passing through a roll of paper perforated with holes that determined which note to play. The air was generated by pressing two foot pedals at the base of the pianola. In 1953 this week, the first 3D cartoon premiered at the Paramount Theater in Hollywood, California. The production, a Walt Disney creation and RKO picture, was titled Melody. It involves an owl teaching his class full of birds about music and melody. The 3D process never really caught on with theater audiences because of the need to wear the polarized glasses, but the show remained a novelty at Disneyland for several years. This week in 1961, U.S. President John F. Kennedy gave this famous speech before a special joint session of Congress. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. That goal was realized eight years later in 1969 with the Apollo 11 mission. In 1985 this week, GTE, or General Telephone and Electronics, was named by Fortune magazine as the largest utility in the U.S. GTE was founded in 1934 and provided telephone service to a large number of areas in the U.S. In 2000, GTE was acquired by Bell Atlantic, one of the regional operating companies formed after the breakup of the Bell system. After the acquisition, the combined company changed its name and became Verizon. And this week in 2012, the SpaceX Dragon became the first commercial spacecraft to rendezvous with the International Space Station. Before this, only four governments, the US, Russia, Japan, and the European Space Agency had accomplished this feat. SpaceX began developing the Dragon spacecraft in late 2004. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, reportedly named the spacecraft after the 1963 song Puff the Magic Dragon by Peter, Paul, and Mary as a response to critics who considered his spaceflight projects impossible. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Hey everyone, Cameron Graveline here. Remember, call in, win stuff. Thank you. Check us out online at intotomorrow.com where you can find out how to listen to our weekly Into Tomorrow radio program and subscribe to our free podcasts. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.